Hey guys, it's the one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a Medieval City. The last episode, although we had a little bit of some trials and tribulations trying to get the redstone to work, we eventually got there. And I think that's something that we should all learn from. Is when at first you don't succeed, try, 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 keep trying, try again, try what you've done before, but then try it differently, and then try again, and you will get there. That's <laughs> that's the model. We we got there, okay, and and nothing's true. Oh, I thought the minecart popped out. Did the has the minecart popped out of that slab? I'm sure I had the minecart. I, I don't know. I can't remember. It's fine. Whatever. Where where's the stairs? They're up here. Uh, let's turn the shaders off while we're inside. Night vision. Sloop. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, we got there in the end. Uh, so uh. Yeah, it all works. Now, I need to get into the secret room today, which means we need to uh, go up the stairs. <laughs> I'm getting lost in my own castle. I need to go up this set of stairs. And if we've done it all right, which we, we should have, we're pretty sure. We go into the library. We hit the switch in the library. And then we go over up to the king's bedroom to flick the second switch. Good, it's closed. Jump on the bed. Yes! <laughs> it does work. I'm so pleased. So, yeah, don't, if, if you've got an idea on how you want something to work, just keep going at it until you get it to work. That's that's really the secret of it, it, it is to not give up. If you give up, uh, you've let it beat you. And I was very, very close last episode to just going, you know what, I'll have a look at it off camera and I'll figure out what I'm doing wrong. I knew... That I couldn't have done really much wrong, because I I know redstone. Well, I used to know redstone. I don't anymore. Um, I used to be good at redstone, and I used to do a lot of it. In fact, I done tutorial series and stuff on it. Uh, so I, I I'm gonna just cover the window up there. That doesn't I don't care. Um, so I I know I I used to really be good at it. I used to like it. I used to create some really cool stuff um, within the community, but. Uh, I, it's redstone is one of those things that if you don't keep working with it, you lose it very very quickly. You need to know exactly, like not not. I haven't got anything new. There's nothing new in redstone. It's not like it's changed because uh, obviously this is one point seven. This is like basically the point of which I started really getting into redstone. I have absolutely no clue. Let me just make sure you guys know. No clue on how to use the new redstone stuff. You know, that came out in, what was it, 1.12 or whatever, you know, or 1.11 even, observer blocks and all that kind of stuff. Not a clue. Like, it, it took me long enough to wrap my head around comparators when they came out. I thought they were pretty cool, but I didn't really know what you could use them for. It took me ages to learn, like, all of their uses. But observer blocks, that's like that next level. And, uh, yeah. Nope. Won't even try. <laughs> I know I will just end up failing at everything. So this is going to be the little hidden treasury room in here. Uh, this is going to be where the king keeps his gold and his more sort of his secret stuff. In it. Not even most of his... Um, uh, what does it look like when you come through here? Yeah, it looks good. Not, you know, none of his servants or nothing uh, know about any of this stuff. You know what? I think it would be cool if we stick an ender chest in here as well. It's a shame you can't get double ender chests. How cool would that be to have a double ender chest? Ender chest in there like that. That's pretty cool. They give off a little bit of light, don't they? You can see the colour change on my screen from night vision. Okay. I uh, just want normal chests there. Like that. I love that. And I think... That looks sick. Flash. Yeah, that really catches your eye. We'll get some item frames. To go on them. I don't know what's going to go in them yet, but it's just like a must-have spot for the item frames to go on. A enchantment table up here would be cool. Cool? <laughs> would be cool. Like that. What if we done it more... I could have it more... Rooms. I could have two of them to keep it room centered. 
and then have just some i'm not going to like do a full book shelf set I could have something like that. We have a little, oops, with a little carpet on top of them. I think that's pretty smart. And then diamonds, of course, diamonds. We're gonna have a little clump of diamonds like this. Little ender chest hidden in the corner. Even that's a secret to like, like even he knows that he shouldn't have this technology. Uh, of an, no, you know what? I'm going to get rid of it. <laughs> cool. It's a cool idea, but I think it's a little bit a little bit far-fetched, even for even for us. All right. Uh, I'm just trying to think of a, a shape of diamond blocks that I like. I like that shape. And then we'll get some gold blocks. I don't like it touching there. We'll do a little gold block collection there. And maybe a small one in the corner there. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, what do we want in those item frames? Or what would be cool to have in item frames? Enchanted weapons. That sounds really cool. Because we haven't got any, like, enchanted stuff, like, in the world. Because we've, we've sort of somewhat stayed towards, like, um, realistic in a way. You know, in this, in this series, you know, we've got no mods. Um... There, there's no wizard's tower or, or anything like that. But, and instead of, instead of like, um, magic, we've got, like, um, uh, a herbalist. So they make, like, they had herbalists in the time that they could make potions that cured certain things and, and, and pretended to do other stuff. Uh, so it sort of works well. But I think just a couple of enchanted swords would be pretty cool. It doesn't matter what enchantments we get on them. As long as they start shining. What do we get? Knock back and sharpness. Smite two and looting. You know, that's a good couple of combinations there. They're two different swords. Excellent. So we've got a... Do I uh, angle them out? Yeah, you angle them out. You don't angle them in, do you? Oops. No, no, no. You don't angle them in. You angle them out for sure. Like that. Couple of enchanted diamond swords as a secret in here. Uh, let's just get a nice... Um, red carpet in here. Maybe red and white. Maybe, uh, whites at the end. Like a three. And a three. Oops. Okay, so I've got three blocks on that side, but only two on that side. If I just move that underneath there. Splash. There we go, it's just made the the mat go all the way through there what if we done a, a little uh, purple line in the middle just from like there oh that's a that's a really nice rug actually okay so there is the secret treasury room chest like like let's put some stuff in the chests here we might as well go all out uh, i want diamonds gold you know, leather might sound silly, but that wouldn't be... Oh, emeralds, of course. Emerald. To trade with the nearby villagers. <laughs> you know what? I might, make, I might just make that one an emerald clump. So we've got gold, diamond, and emerald. Uh, that's cool. Emerald's really funny to have, because it's like the perfect trade item, isn't it? Uh, what else would we have? Oh, a nether star. Quartz wouldn't be too bad because it's a very nice, nice block. No, I think that's good though. So, ooh, oops, uh, uh. um, like that. So we have a nether star in there. Just leave another star in there. In this one, we fill with emeralds. And this one, we fill with diamonds. I ran out of diamonds. I want more diamonds. And in the other side, we have gold. 
like that. And I'm going to need some more gold. Because I ran out of diamonds. Yep. So we put those all in there. Excellent. Okay, I think that's pretty cool to have. We'll shut this up. And then we'll double secure it by hitting the lock down in the library as well. Try and find my way to the library. Here it is. It's not a big castle, right? Like, the interior of this castle isn't big. And yet, I can still get lost in it, and I built it. Like, uh, it's, it's got this really, uh, this really sprawling feel. Exactly what you want to go with with the castle. All right, awesome. Now, uh, we've got a little bit of time left this episode. Oh, look, the snow's starting to lay over here as, it's, as I'm not, like, catching the weather fast enough. Whoa, look at that for... Look at that, look at that, how the snow does that. Yeah? Cool. Um, now, uh, yeah, we've got a little bit of time left this episode. So what I'm thinking is planning out where we want this, uh, the entrance to go. We can also get rid of this wall here now. We don't need our little test wall. Um, let's just grab ourselves a one to do that. Uh, like that. Like that. Poof. So yeah, how do we want this path to go? And uh, we'll, where do we want it to lead to and from? So it needs to come out here. And obviously needs to come around the side of the uh, stable here. So we need to join up to the stable. So that can be dressed up quite nicely with a, a little... Let's get some more wool here. A little probably dirt path up to the stable. Like that, yeah? Fence along there. A little... Maybe a little dirt one there. Something like that. I don't know. Dress that up nicely. This tree will have to go. We can always put our own trees in afterwards. We'll just get rid of the trunk. Because I think we've got enough time for the leaves to despawn before next episode. I'll have to figure out what I'll do to, to waste some time. That needs to be just fixed a little bit. Not too much, but there's just a little, a little bit flat going on there. Yep. And then this path needs to... this That land needs to be flattened out. We could probably just do that as well. There's no point having a path that just goes down just to come straight back up again. Set grass. Oh, and look at that. Hey. Fill that in there, and that's perfect. A little straight, a little straight, but let's just curve this back a little bit. There we go, it's just a little bit on there now. Okay, and then again, I need it to come out this way. Little path going there, you know, that could probably be a stone path. It's going to the castle. And now we need it to go around here. To the arena. Really cool view that is. I tell you what would be cool. Is having... You know how we've got the banners around the top of the arena there? It would be to have some banners on the bridge. Like so when you're walking up and over the bridge here. You've got some banners on either side. Hmm... Maybe if we put it like on a, like on an entrance here or something. I don't want to ruin the look of the bridge though, but. I need, I need a load of wool colour. Just get rid of that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. I don't know. 
like I haven't got a path here or anything like that, so I haven't got like the full picture. Mm. I don't like it. There's something that can be done there for sure. Definitely something that we can do. The like to get the banners going over the top would be really cool. But I don't know how. I just don't I don't know how. Okay. So we've got that joined up to there, which is great. But we'll also want just a path that goes away. That goes away to another land. So that one, I think we'll put a T-junction in, like over here. We'll have it go this way. It'll go, we'll flatten, or oh, we might not flatten the land actually. We might leave the land. In fact, we might go up here and have a diagonal bridge that leads somewhere, wherever high that would be. Y80. Y80. So it'd be like, like joined up from there to there. Uh, yeah. Oop. Oh, just found that tree. So something like that Oops, goes nicely over that uh, cavern here. Might join that up to all be water as well. That would be pretty cool. I love that. That comes all the way around. All of this is water underneath here. And this. join them up this is actually going a lot better than i thought i thought that i would have to like place the water down myself and stuff but i'm pretty sure the water is just filling itself oh it's not <laughs> i think it was at one point i think it started to just was filling itself it'd be crazy if it just filled the whole lot by itself it maybe would have if i took it slower it might have but it might have broke the box too fast that it couldn't it couldn't keep up go on for ages couldn't you like we could widen up that part as well oh i punched a squid it's got to be at least five years in prison for that doesn't it <laughs> squid abuse uh-huh I think that's good. I think that's good for the moment. Okay, so all of that all water nearly... I should... All of that water is good. Get rid of that. All of this water is good. And if I just run all the way through here... Run all the way down there... In a little hole that I shouldn't have had. There we go. Awesome. So we've got now a river that goes all the way underneath. Looks pretty sick on the map. Could you join up? Where am I going? I'm going to the end of this one here. Oh, I could as well. I could join those two up as well. Look. Just looking on the map, you, we're starting to get like this this surrounding area of, of lake, like a moat around the city. Very cool defense. Okay, so that's going to go that way. And I think that's pretty good because we can actually hide the path into the, into the woods then, into the forest. So we don't need to do a path that leads out of render distance. We can just make the, the path fade off in the tree. So when we're looking at it, it looks like the path continues on, but actually it just stops in there. Like a little camera trickery sort of thing going on. Alright guys, that's going to do it then. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We should see you in the next episode. Bye!